What's up guys? So the time has finally come to share my story and experience of flying in the world's biggest air show. Current day, I'm part of the Paradigm Aerobatic team. We've done so far three different air shows. We've got two more scheduled for this year. Um, but let's take a step back in time to about a year ago. And this story is gonna be about how our team was formed and our experience of flying at the world's biggest air show. So March of 2016, I was shopping in Kohl's with Jacqueline and my good buddy Eric Farewell from Aviator PPG calls me and basically he's like, hey, do you wanna be a part of this paramotor aerobatic team and we're gonna do a show at EA AirVenture Oshkosh? Now at the time I was like, yeah, that's totally rad. I would love to be a part of that. But at the same time, it was kind of like, are they gonna let us do that? Like, paramotors on the main stage? That's something that's never been done before. And EA AirVenture is kind of known for the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds, not a couple guys in paramotors flying around. Uh, there's a quote from Dennis Dunbar that kind of encompassed this whole idea. He said, we had to convince the FAA that having uncertified pilots fly uncertified aircraft at Oshkosh was going to be safe. And we did convince them and we got the approval to do it. So four months later, I found myself in my little Subaru with my Scout packed up in the back, headed to Richland Center, Wisconsin. So that night, I end up getting to Richland Center, Wisconsin. It's like 1 a.m. or something. Somehow I ended up being the first one there. So I pull up to this farmhouse that we're staying at, kind of open up the front door and no one else is there. It's totally dark. Uh, I find myself bedroom and crash for the night. The next day, I met up with some of the members of the team as they arrived. The first group was the Martin family and the Martins live uh, near Richland Center, Wisconsin and three of the brothers were to be on the team, Ethan, Doran, and Adriel. The other members of the team included Alex Mateos, who is like the world champion slalom guy uh, from France, and the other two that do high acro are the Malaguita brothers from Spain, Manu and David Lopez, and they got in later, but that night uh, we did a fun flight around the Martins farm. So it was kind of interesting. Some of the pilots knew each other through Facebook. Some of us had never even met or heard of each other. Um, so it was kind of like an interesting experience in that we had no idea if everyone was going to mesh. And it turns out everyone did mesh really well. Uh, we were all kind of on the same brain wave of paramotors. So we all got along really well. Uh, we had an awesome fun flight together and uh, Shortly thereafter, we started kind of coordinating our practices. We have 15 seconds to spare there, guys. <laughs> we have a 12 minute window and that was 11.45. That was awesome. Good work, guys! Woo! Yes! Awesome. There was a little local airport that we set up um, to do our practices at and we had a general idea of what we wanted the air show act to look like. It sounds kind of simple now that we've done it a bunch of times, but in the beginning it was kind of chaotic. Um, we had 
a very specific time slot that we had to stick to. So part of it was coordinating everyone's uh, maneuvers together, getting the timing right, and uh, the other half of it was getting the overall time really dialed in so that we knew we could do it and be on the ground within seconds of when we intended. So practice started in the beginning, it was super chaotic, but over time we started to get it a little bit better and better. Over the course of the week that we had to practice, luckily we had a couple down times where we could just go for a fun flight with everyone and kind of strengthen our bond as a team, if you will. Um, this particular flight, we launched from the farmhouse that we were staying at and everyone was just up in the air at the same time. Super fun, I don't think anyone wanted to land from that flight and I did a little bit of live comm. Yeah, buddy. So today's Tuesday, I believe. We've been having a freaking fantastic time. Every morning and afternoon that's flyable, we've been going out to the local airstrip to do our practice. Things are coming along pretty good, if you ask me. It is just so beautiful up here. Stacking it. <laughs> Everyone's like, do something crazy. Do something crazy. This whole demonstration is like a crazy awesome opportunity to really showcase paramotors to the general aviation community and the general public. You know, like a lot of people don't even know what a paramotor is if you try to explain it to them. We're showing them the full potential from the reflex gliders that we're flying, doing wing overs and pylons, all the way to the other side of the spectrum of the full acro that the Malagita brothers are doing. It's a super cool opportunity to be able to show that to like a huge audience. I don't care what anyone says, man. This is their shit. That was awesome, dude. We were like stacked going through all the cornfields. That was awesome. So in between all the flying practice, we would do a lot of walking and briefing and air show prep type of stuff. Even when it was raining, there was one scene in the documentary where we're out there in the rain walking and trying to coordinate all the flow of everything together. We sat down as a team a number of times and basically talked specifics of what the air show was, uh, certain areas we could fly the crowd line knowing exactly the box for aerobatics a lot of prep into that you know as time went on our routine started to get really really dialed like our synchro with each other got perfect and we were hitting our time markers back to back uh, morning and night we would go out and fly every opportunity and just go for hours it, the mornings I remember kind of got pretty crazy because the grass was soaked and our wings would get wet and we were doing 10 launches back to back and it was pretty exerting but as time went on and we started nailing it, it just got to be so much fun. Like It was kind of like square dancing in the sky. It was kind of a different type atmosphere where you're flying with precision and trying to match your partner and trying to get to the spot exactly the same way and the same time every single time. So as we practice more and more, we really got it dialed in. I think we were all feeling confident at the end of that week that we had our routine set, we were ready to go. Um, so we headed to Oshkosh at the end of the week. Quick update, we made it to Oshkosh. Tonight is Wednesday, the first night of our 
uh, performance. Super stoked. A little bit nervous, um, but it's gonna be good. I'll show you guys around. So we arrive at EA Air Venture, and I had gone two years prior in my life. If you don't know what Oshkosh is like, imagine every single form of aviation along, I don't know, a two mile stretch. Uh, it, the flight line's just endless. Everything from warbirds to ultralights and everything in between, jets, commercial aviation, military aviation, everything. It's crazy, the first time I went to Oshkosh was around the time that I learned to fly a paramotor. It was right before, actually. And that's the time when I first met Eric there. We had a little downtime and he showed me sort of how to kite a glider uh, in a little grassy strip at Oshkosh that year. And I got the glider up, I was kind of getting the hang of it, and he had me turn around, started pushing me, I pulled a little break, and I went into the air for about two feet. And I remember at that time, I just thought it was the coolest thing to say I flew at Oshkosh. Even though it was two feet and it was in a grassy area behind the flight line, I qualified it as flying at Oshkosh. So it was really cool to be at Oshkosh with a team that was going to put on a demonstration. So at Oshkosh, we had a lot of air show briefings and uh, kind of events to attend, but I remember kind of feeling like the new kid on the block. Like we had never done an air show before and we were here at the world's biggest air show and people were kind of looking at us like we were a little different. But it was super cool. We had a lot of things to do leading up to our first flight, which was on a Wednesday, I believe. Um, kept us all busy and we had a lot of fun. <laughs> So Wednesday comes along and it's our first night to perform. Uh, we were at a time slot right around sunset and I remember walking out to the flight line, all of us with our motors on our back, about two hours before we were supposed to fly just so we would get everything completely ready and there was no way we could miss our slot. Um, but I remember walking through Boeing Square with all of our paramotors on, feeling super nervous on the inside, but still kind of feeling like a rock star, like all matching jerseys and paramotors on our back, even though we probably look like goofballs. Kind of felt like a rock star at the time. So we walk out to the flight line, we get everything set up, uh, and now it was just time to wait. We did a little kiting, we walked our performance a bunch more times, and then it started to close in on our time slot. We'll probably be launching the same area, the winds are pretty much the same direction, they'll probably settle down a little bit as we get into the evening. We get the confirmation from the air boss to start, blue team will do the 1 minute, 30 seconds, 5 seconds, blue team launch, you guys go, okay? Right before our time slot, they were doing this reenactment. Uh, so there was explosions, fireballs, gunfire. It was very intense, and I think it kind of lightened the mood. Uh, it kind of blew us away because we were right on the, the flight line, front and center, and we got a good uh, look at that. So right after the reenactment, uh, they had another time slot that was like uh, two zeros and some F-18s. So at this time, we're basically like laying out our gliders right next to the runway and there's F-18s screaming down the runway and we've got our two-stroke paramotors on our backs just getting ready to go. This is gonna be cool. They just cleared the zeros and the F-18s into the ocean.
eventually we get everything set up, motors on our backs, gliders laid out, everyone's set, ready to go, and we had about five minutes of final anticipation. All that nervousness was basically leading up to the launch because if you blew the launch, first off, there's thousands of people looking at you. And second, you kind of didn't have an opportunity to relaunch into the show. Um, the backup pilot, Doran, was gonna take off in that case. So all this anticipation was leading up to the launch. The most simple thing, but if you screw it up, it would be a real bummer. But the good thing was, as we knew from all of our practice, right after launch, everything would just flow. And that's exactly what happened. All that nervousness up to the launch, as soon as I nailed that launch, everything just came back exactly how we had practiced and it was amazing. As we finished our performance everything went exceptionally well and I remember we had to kill our engines by a certain point even though we could land right by the crowd line uh, and I killed my engine came in for landing and on the glide down you could hear the crowd just roaring even through the ear cups and the helmets it just made everything feel so worth it and coming for a landing grab my glider and the crowd is just so supportive um, we couldn't tell the reaction from the crowd while we were flying, obviously, because we were doing our thing, but as soon as we got on the ground, it was a apparent that the crowd loved what we did. Uh, we walked back and high-fived like, that little segment of the flight line, and everyone really loved it. Thanks, guys. Thanks guys. Awesome. That was sick. Super yeah, buddy. Did you hear the crowd? Oh yes. Dude, the whole crowd we screamed. Yes. So freaking proud. That was so sick. You look so good. Thanks, man. Oh my god. <laughs> the timing was perfect too. I think we're 30 seconds over. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Good, good work. Perfect. I thought our stack game would go really well. Like I was really worried yeah, that was at first because everyone was like all over, but it didn't. I was just like, I don't know, should I go right? Should I go left? I'm just gonna do what we planned. I was like, the whole time I was like, I hope someone says like something. My motor felt so light on my back when I landed on the adrenaline. Yeah. But he's like, you guys are missing a hell of a show down here. These guys, these paramotor guys, they got well, they got more moves than a caterpillar. <laughs> feeling ever. The rest of the week we were just kind of leading up until our Saturday show. Walking around with the jerseys now, people kind of recognized us from those guys that did the crazy air show act on Wednesday night and uh, it was unique because it was something no one has ever really seen before, especially for the night show. And it was awesome. It was a feeling of accomplishment. We all pulled it off and everything went safely and everything went smoothly. So leading up to our Saturday show, I actually swapped uh, my GoPro for someone's 360 camera. So 
I never saw the footage from it and I don't have the footage so I don't have anything to share from our Saturday show. But uh, Saturday went exceptionally well also. All in all, flying at EA AirVenture 2016 for the first time was completely amazing. Like I said in the intro, it was like a life-changing experience. Just reliving it and doing this video, it brings back a ton of memories. Uh, we're actually gonna be at Oshkosh the end of this month again. Uh, second year going there, it's gonna be bigger and better. I think we've all come a little bit farther as pilots and as a team doing a few more shows since then. We've got a few more tricks up our sleeves. Um, but yeah, huge thank you to everyone on the Paradigm team. There's too many names to list that went into Oshkosh, but the guys at Aviator, the sponsors at Fuse. Um, definitely check out the full documentary in the description. Brandon, the guy that filmed it, he did a really great job of capturing everything really. Anyways, I think that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have no idea how long it's run on for, but hopefully it was a good one. Story time out here, but uh, till the next time, we'll do some more flying. Peace out guys. Zzz.